Well, hello everyone. This is Robin Carter. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of Flower Mound, Texas, and I'm here to do the unboxing. Now, normally I'll let you see me, but it is late here and I'm almost ready for bed, but I have a very busy day tomorrow, so I thought I would go ahead and get this unboxing out for you. So this is the unboxing of the June 2024 paper pumpkin kit named Life is Sweet. Now the only thing I have done is taken off the wrapper and um, the mailing label somewhere, which I usually keep because I'm going to use it, but I'll just pull out a piece of scrap paper here from my desk. <laughs> it's one I guess I used on the last month's kit. So before I get started, let me thank those of you that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. And if you're new to my channel or maybe you have seen the or watched a few of my videos but have yet to subscribe I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to this video by hitting the subscribe button um, below so let's get started so we got a new uh, in color spot this month which we knew we were getting but here it is shy shamrock so that'll be nice to have a spot for that and then here are the stamps now what I tell you to do, whether you're going to do this kit uh, later or now, go ahead and test your stamps because Stampin' Up! can only guarantee your stamps for up to 90 days. So let me get out my a uh, Stampin' Pierce mat, or I have these uh, blocks, and these came in the uh, caddy that you could carry your blocks in, and it works pretty much just like a chamois. So to test my stamps, I just take off the flimsy little part and I leave them on the harder plastic. And just for ease, I have a large gray granite here. But another thing I recommend you do is get out some Versamark. That's my old address. I've had this thing a long time. And ink it up with Versamark first. That'll help uh, your ink to stick to your stamps. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and now I'm gonna put the gray granite on there. So I can see we got one of those nice big things, much like the add-on dies. <laughs> it's really sticky. Okay, let's see if I inked it well. Flip it over, give it a little press. Now this is just copy paper, it's nothing special. I do generally, do this on the back of the mailing label but apparently I must have put it away with the trash okay there we go so a nice thanks uh, from and this is the same as our add-on dies the add-on dies were still available last I checked as well as the first quarter but it's nice to have a stamp to go with that let's see what else wish you were here Life is so much sweeter with friends like you. You're truly amazing. Sweet friend, sending a big squeeze and so much to celebrate. Now, I have to say I'm a little disappointed we didn't get any <laughs> fruit, like a peach or something, with this set. But this is what we have. All right, so I just put this away. Now, my chamois is not wet. So I'm just going to take my water bottle here. I should have done my stamp and scrub. So here's my stamp and scrub. I do love to use it as well. Let's get the wet side a little wetter because it's dry. And then the dry part. So I'll just set this aside because I squirted it with water and I'll fix that later. Okay. Now, I forgot to share here, these are what I get ready when I have an unboxing because I can put my components in this larger envelope, which these are what I call my favorite things. And if you're new to my channel, my favorite things are things that Stampin' Up! does not sell that I find helpful in organizing my supplies. I am an Amazon affiliate, so there are links in this video description box of where you can purchase these. These are the seven by nine point something, and these are five seven 
And when you use those links to purchase these products, I'm required to tell you that I get a few pennies back at no cost to you just for recommending these products. So thank you if you've used those or plan to use those in the future. I really appreciate it. Okay, I forgot to also share the next quarter of Paper Pumpkin information is out. And so the July kit looks to be beautiful. So I'm looking forward to that kit. It has some nice colors. We'll be getting a gray granite spot. And then in May, we're actually getting a additional stamp set. Now that's unusual for May. Usually that only happens in March, the anniversary month of Paper Pumpkin. And then of course the autumn kit. And here are the add-on dies for the third quarter of these kits. The item number is 164991. And I do know that this die here is going to coordinate with a stamp in this kit. So that'll be nice to have, uh, not to fussy cut the flower, because it looks like it could be quite difficult. So that is that information. So let's get started with the unboxing. Put my ink here. Now I just flip it over. I'm going to do it to the side here. Set the box aside. It's a normal box. Okay, so here are the goodies. They come face up, but if you flip it over, that will have the instruction booklet. But let me get my some scissors and let's open this. Now I do recommend you open it like where there's just cardboard so you don't damage any of your uh, goodies inside this wrap. Then once you get it, you can kind of just tear it. Okay, so let's flip this over and look at the instructions, which I rarely use. So it's quite, I can see what we're going to have, but let's flip over and look at the coordinating colors. Now this shows each individual thing you're getting in the kit. But the coordinating colors are Daffodil Delight, Lemon Lolly, Peach Pie, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pretty in Pink, Pumpkin Pie, Shy Shamrock, and Summer Splash. So quite a few um, colors there, and this shows the add-on dies that were available for this month. And I don't have that item number handy. Let me see if I have my dies out in my little bucket over here. I don't because I'd been working on a class to go kit, which was my last two videos I did. So if you missed that, go check that out under my videos. But let's get back to the goodies. Also here, you get a little image of the stamps. So they used to print them on this part and I do miss that. But now when I go to put them away, I, I literally just set them there and then pick it up <laughs> with my uh, thicker piece here that the stamps are on. And then I store this in my envelopes, which are also some of my favorite things. And let me grab last month's. Okay, so if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, I send these out generally the next month following in case you order any products and then you get a special gift from me if you uh, use the host code and your order is $75 or more. But anyway, I send these out with the printout of the month and the name as well as the stamp set. And then I also send a one inch square. This is just happens to be pretty peacock out. Uh, that you can put on the back of your ink so you can store them upside down and still know what color it is. That way your ink is always on top. So that's just a little perk from me for being a Paper Pumpkin subscriber under myself. And uh, I also send a PDF of any alternatives I've made. So if you're new to my channel, I do make several alternatives with the kits. So be sure and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any of those. All right, now to the goodies. Let's just go ahead and flip this over and see what we have. Okay, we have a card base. Now, sadly, it's just printed on one side, but you can use this side if you're going to do any embossed layers. So I generally always cut these in half to put them on a thick white card base. I just prefer that weight. So we have three of those. They stuck some labels 
in here. So pretty basic labels that we could recreate extras of for our alternatives. Some nice pre-done lemons. Now there's a couple different sizes here. Always be careful when you're punching these out that you don't tear your goodies. All right, so that one's that size, that one's this size. Let's go ahead and put those in this smaller envelope as well as my keep the labels fit okay and then we have a nice is that that's not the shy shamrock it must be was well, summer splash a color it kind of looks like summer splash a little bit so this is nice we have both sides that kind of have like a painted te uh, well it's not a texture a painted look we could then get out our painted texture embossing folder. Sounds like a good idea to actually make it uh, more interesting. Okay, here is Peach. Now, it looks like we have quite a few. As intended, they only used one, two, three, four. So they gave us quite a bit of extra, which is nice, so that we can make alternatives. Oh, and then same thing with like a peach pie look with that painted look. Is that showing pretty good, hopefully, in the video? And then some nice layers. Now, I did notice that the envelopes kind of have this look from the instructions, but anyway, also be careful when you get things like this, because as you can see, mine are kind of stuck together. So these leaves, you know, I'm sure we can stretch those out over multiple, multiple cards. And then this flap, let me see what it was intended for. It looks like it went on this. But we'll see whatever we end up using it for. Oh, and then some nice glimmer paper. Now this is already die cut with some words. I'm going to have to be careful because I don't want to tear it. I can tell that there's a thanks. Let's see what else. It looks like there's a congrats. A hello and a miss you. So not a thanks. So those are in here somewhere. I'm not going to take the time to. Well, maybe I'll try to do one <laughs> without tearing them. But um, it's very, it's almost easier to punch it out from the back because then you can see what you're trying to punch. Be careful that you don't tear it. So this is the congrats. And then we'll have to get out the centers. And my take your pick tool is the best thing for that. Let's see, this one has the spatula end on it. That's probably not gonna work real well. All right, I don't know where my other one, I, I can have two that I keep uh, different ends ready to go. I do have a, here it is. I found it. <laughs> I knew it was in one of my jar goodies. All right, the C. O. All right, almost there with this one. It is all connected. Now, what I might could do to get more of these is actually scan this on some dark paper in my scan and cut. And then I can make more of these. So um, if you know, I have an Etsy shop. And by the way, if you go to my home screen and my YouTube, and then it, there's a uh, my Stampin' Up! online store link is there. But if you there's also a see more links or something like that. And that'll show you all my other links, including my Etsy shop link. One more toughy to get out there. Okay, so there we have congrats. Let's see if I can put this on so you can see it. So quite nice. Nice glimmer and shiny. So let's put that in my bag so I don't lose it. The whole thing is a little bit too big for that. Then we have some nice vellum leaves. Now I love vellum. I'm sad that our vellum cardstock is now retired, but we can get vellum from, from other places. 
I probably need to add that to my favorite things, some vellum cardstock. So there's leaves and some little stars. I'm gonna put that in here. And then we have some cherries. These are nicely done. I do like those, they're nice and big. Now I will rummage through my stamps and paper pumpkin kits. I know I have a cherry from a, a kit a while back. It's quite a bit smaller, but I know I have that. And I know I have a lemon from a long retired regular kit. So I'll probably grab that out. I mean, I like to refer to the instructions to see what they use that as. Here's just a little frame of grass. So um, we at least have three and there is a little, looks like tissue or something. Uh, I don't know if it's tissue or vellum, let's find out. It's nice that they pre-package these. I guess they didn't want them to get all tore up. You know what, that is a nice piece of vellum behind me. So that'll be nice to have. But I'm gonna put these back in here so they don't get damaged. Okay, and these can go in the little envelope. And then we have our envelopes. Now these are pretty envelopes. They are, look like the new in colors, three of peach pie, three of, I believe this is the shy shamrock, yes. And then three of pretty in pink. So um, we'll have to decide, is it worth cutting them up to use, oh, quite a bit of pretty in pink. Did I just get extra? Or are there four each? Let's see, one, two, nope, just three. They were extra thick. <laughs> I thought I got a bonus envelope. All right, three of those and three of these, as well as our normal, uh, we have glue dots and people have a love-hate relationship with them. I actually like them because if I happen to get an embellishment up without its adhesive, or I want to add more, I use the little glue dots here. We got uh, some nice embellishments. They're kind of pearl iridescent type colored. And then a teeny thing of dimensionals. So I keep lots of dimensionals on hand because if you've seen my videos, you know I hardly make a card without a dimensional on it. So, um, but it looks like we got the mini ones this month. That is stuck to there. and. Um, but it, I guess it didn't have a backing. And I also used the whole outside of it as well. So there is the little ponies in the little zippy bag. And we also have, I can see here, tear and tape and twine. So if you have been a Paper Pumpkin subscriber for a while, actually this is, I believe, linen thread. You probably have a pretty good stash of linen thread. So I just start from my other ones that aren't used up till I use those up but it's nice to always get tear and tape. Okay, so I think I've shared everything with you. Now, as you can see, this easily fits inside this envelope right here. So now I don't have to worry about the box and everything is nice and contained between here and here. And as I get to making my alternatives, I can then bring in more of these little envelopes and separate it that way. Another one of my favorites are the three by fives. Um, these are nice for little things like your embellishments and such, but they're in this envelope or zippy bag. So I'll just leave them there for now. Um, what else? Oh, I forgot to share. Going on right now uh, through the end of June is 10% off any die stamp bundles on the, uh, well, in the catalog or in the online store. So it's not for the ones that have a stamp, but it's for the ones that have a die. And what I've been working with lately is uh, the Flowers of Beauty and Unbounded Love. And I just love this set. If you missed the cards I made with these, I do have a class to go option. If you're interested in that, just reach out to me and I can uh, hook you up with purchasing that. So these are the two stamps and this is the two die. So any dies like this, if you know, or bundles, they're already 10% savings off the regular price. 
but through the end of June, they're an extra 10% off. So if you have some of those on your list, um, be sure and grab those up. And if you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be yours. So I've got a little thing, <laughs> a notification on my computer I need to get rid of. But anyway, here is the current host code. And I do on my online store, which the, the website address is right there. If you go under specials, it'll mention that 10% off. And then I type in my specials, which includes my host code and a link to how you can start your subscription to Paper Pumpkin so that you can get these fun kits in the mail and join the rest of us. So thanks for joining me today. I hope everyone has a great week and hopefully you get your kit soon as well. So be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And until my next video, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.